quick. Who is the greatest wide receiver of all time? Jerry Rice, Marvin Harrison, Paul Warfield, Art Monk, Tim Brown. Wrong. The greatest wide receiver of all time, according to Andre Risen, is Andre Risen. Of course, best receiver to ever play the game. I can't show my highlights because I don't own NFL films, but all my coaches in college, in high school, in junior college, they all told me I could be the best. But they must have lied because that title was already given to Jerry Rice. Just because you have the stats doesn't mean you're the best. Can't nobody tell me that Andre Reid isn't better than Jerry Rice. I'm seeing cornerbacks on the 75th anniversary team that I used to demolish. But I'm coming out with my own Hall of Fame. Good thing, too, because you are not getting into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And while I don't own NFL films either, I can show you your highlights. And despite what your high school, college, and 13th grade coaches may have led you to believe, you are not the greatest receiver ever. Just saying so doesn't make it so. If it does, then I'm the greatest quarterback ever, and I'm going to come out with my own Hall of Fame. You see, Andre, when we think of you, we don't think about you making plays. The first things that come to mind are your pop star girlfriend burning your crib right to the ground, that silly mid-game slap fight you had with Prime, you glossing yourself Spider-Man at the end of your career, and your career-defining moment when you ran that dude through a window and then you told police that your name was Brock Middlebrook. Oh, and that you had 743 career receptions as well. Maybe it's just me, Brock, but that's just not enough to secure GOAT status. But let me know when you induct yourself into your own Hall of Fame. I will even present you if you're not presenting yourself. 